Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm so excited that you're joining me today. I've got a couple fun cards to share with you using some celebration products. I feel like we're running out of time to get our celebration favorites because it's already the the middle end of August. I can hardly believe it. So what is today? Today is... August 18th. So we are past that halfway point and the last day of celebration is Wednesday, August 31st. It's coming so fast. And so I'm getting out some of these sets that I really haven't had a chance to play with and use yet. Um, I guess because I've just been so busy. I don't know. So the first card we're going to make today is using the Stylus stylish sketches stamp set and I only made one card with this and it was a couple weeks ago uh, I used the fox stamp but I haven't used the other stamps the fig and the ducks and so tonight I'm challenging myself <laughs> to make something else with this stamp set do you guys have this one did you pick this out you can get it free with a $50 order during celebration so you've got just a less than two weeks now um, to grab this stamp set I feel like there were so few choices that you probably have maybe things that you weren't going to get but you decided to get because you had some extra free choices and then Stampin' Up! did add some extra items in August so if you feel like you have everything make sure you check out um, the extra celebration um, gifts that are available there's embossing folders some foil paper some dies um, so there's plenty to celebrate we're using that stylish sketches which is in the original celebration offering right here um, and you know me I love to case the catalog and so today's card was in inspired by this one right here and I kind of like the way it turned out I just finished putting it together um before before I I came on the live let me show you a couple other samples with this one before we stamp I had to reach down on my floor here's the one that we made a couple weeks ago we used the coloring pencils the watercolor pencils to color in the fox and this one I actually um, copied from the catalog as well. I used the same layout and just changed up the designer paper and the colors. Here are some other swaps I've gotten from other demonstrators. This one's from Deb Snyder. Really clean and simple with the vanilla embossing folder. And then this one is Don Olszewski. Love that clean and simple layout with the fox. And here's another one with the fox. This one's from my upline, Kim Peck. Love all the detail on this card. She always just has the most most gorgeous layered cards. Um, she really does such a nice job. So today we're going to make a card. Like I said, I'm inspired by this one here. Um, so leave a comment and let me know. Do you have the stylish sketches um, stamp set? Have you have you been making cards with it? Have you used it yet? Um, let's let's dig in. So I'm going to use the ducks and I'm also going to use the fig, but. Um, I don't, I don't know how figgy we're going to get, like, I'm not coloring it. So I'm, I'm hoping it just kind of looks like a leaf. Now this stamp set does not have any words in it. So I am bringing in the hello stamp from the soft seedlings. Now this stamp set is in the July through December, 2022 Stampin' Up! mini catalog. And I made a card. We did a fun rock and roll technique. That was really fun with this. Definitely going to use this some more as we get um, into fall. I really love the sentiments, especially the thinking of you. I just think it's really versatile. And then the um, the Inspiration Project uses the beautiful shape dies with the hexagons. And so I have pre-cut some here. You just need one of each color, but I did cut myself an extra set just you know just in case. <laughs> you never know. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start by stamping. Um, some images and we're going to do a little coloring for the ducks. So let's start. I, I also, I'm kind of proud of this. This card uses only one ink pad. Um, and usually I don't do that. Usually I just, you know, make whatever, but I thought I would do everything in, um, in one color. And I'm also going to do a fun direct to paper technique with the ink pad as well. So we're going to start with the ducks and we're going to stamp those on the large hexagon. Um, and then while we have the ink pad open, we're also going to stamp the hello on the green. 
and the fig leaves, which I'm hoping just look like leaf leaves, in um, in the soft suede ink on Cajun Craze. And that little line around it is actually part of the stamp image. The first time I stamped it, I thought, oh, I have a halo, but it's it's just part of the image. It's supposed to be very sketchy and you know just sort of. Um, very kind of artsy. Okay, so now we did our stamping and we're going to do a little bit of coloring on the ducks. Now ducks are mostly brown, right? So I'm just going to take my blender pen and blend the color on the cardstock. Now our our regular classic ink pads from Stampin' Up are a water-based dye ink. And so that color is just gonna blend when you use water or something like um, the glycerin pen like this. So I'm just kind of spreading the color that is from the line art around just to kind of color in the ducks a little bit. You can do that on the ground if you want to. And then of course I need to add, I need to add a little bit of color. So I'm using some colored pencils. These are part of the Watercolor pencil assortment number two. We have two watercolor pencil assortments. This one includes cherry cobbler, Florida flamingo, Cajun craze, crushed curry, granny apple green, garden green, coastal cabana, balmy blue, night of navy, and gorgeous grape. Now, I think normally I would use like a pumpkin pie for um, the duck beaks, but since I really wanted to use a garden green, um, I decided that I would just go ahead and use the Cajun craze for the beak. So I'm just kind of lightly coloring and just adding a little color to these ducks. I think it's just enough color. I'm also going to go ahead and do the feet down here. I suppose I could do those yellow. I was trying to remember mallard ducks. What's that? What color is that ring around their neck? Is that yellow? Is it green and then a yellow ring? I think I do have a little crushed curry in here. Let's just add a little. Does that look right? It looks kind of dark, doesn't it? Well, hopefully I got it right. Otherwise, I'm just going to claim creative license on this one. <laughs> All right, so I got my ducks colored in. I've got my leaves slash figs if you want to be <laughs> particular. And next up, I'm going to do that technique on the cardstock. So I'm going to bring back my, um, I don't know if I need that little grid paper. I, I think I probably do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ink pad and we're gonna go direct to the paper with it. So I've opened it up and I'm just gonna kind of do some dragging across the cardstock just to kind of add, that is really dark down there in the bottom, maybe a little darker than I wanted it to be. So I'm just kind of dragging, dragging on the ink pad. I feel like this is not necessarily there. I want. I want a few like dark spots like that. This is really bothering me, so I'm just gonna turn it over and try again. So just doing a little drag here. This is like a direct to paper kind of technique, just dragging the ink pad on the cardstock. And it's kind of a form of distressing, I guess. I wanted to add some color to the cardstock and do kind of a texture, um, but I didn't have a background stamp. Let me show you that sample again. I think this is a background stamp of some kind or another stamp stamped repeatedly, but I didn't really have that. So I decided to just kind of create my own background. Sometimes it's fun to do techniques like this where you don't need a lot of supplies to do it. So I'm gonna take, uh, I've got crumb cake cardstock here and I'm going to layer it onto a piece of crumb cake card base. Okay, so this is four, four inches by five and a quarter layered onto five and a half by eight and a half. And then I'm going to layer on the pieces that we stamped. And look how great this is for a masculine card. I really love the way this is coming together. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought about adding like a twine bow or something like that. And it just, I don't know, I just couldn't get it quite right. Although one thing I did think about right before I went live was wondering if I should put like a little bit of ribbon underneath one of the um one of the maybe maybe a twine a twine underneath the um the the green one let's kind of see I think you're right Melissa the one in the catalog might be that dry brush background well, we'll just, we just created our own little dry brush. 
<laughs> a dry ink pad, but maybe not so dry. Um, all right, what do you think of like a little figure eight behind the um, the green? I sort of like that. I wasn't thinking I would use any linen thread, but I think that's a good place to put it. It also sort of highlights the um, the sentiment a little bit and kind of makes that um, makes that stick out. So I'm gonna add. I just put a little bit of adhesive back here. And um, which way do I want that to go? I think I'm gonna have that go this way. I often use like tear and tape. And <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm not using it right now. Maybe because it's the hexagon is so small. I feel like it's kind of hard to control where I want it to go. Definitely want it to be kind of diagonal. So let's just do some adjusting and get it where we want it to go. I think like that. What do you think about that? Okay, I'm really pushing it down there, doing a little, let's do a little trim on the linen thread. So because I've got the linen thread back there, I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this hexagon. And we'll put the other ones down with just regular adhesive. So the big one's going to go down first. I did wonder about having them be mm, the other way. I was, now I've got that probably going, no, nope, I don't know. Should the ducks be on the bottom or the top? Originally, I had them on the top, which is kind of in line with what the catalog sample was. But then as I'm starting to put it together, like I feel like maybe the ducks should be on the, on the bottom because they're on the ground, right? Oh my gosh, do you guys overthink your cards like I do? <laughs> I always overthink this so much, like just, put it down. Does it matter? <laughs> um, this is the story of my life. I feel like all the time. I'm always, 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 always overthinking everything. Oh, I also did think about having it go. <laughs> Speaking of overthinking, I thought about it having, having it go across the card like that. I don't know. I think I like it better vertically. <laughs> okay, so let's just commit and make this card happen. We're going to do, see, I just need to make sure it gets over enough so that the hexagon fits properly. What do you think? Is that good? Yes, glue it down. <laughs> All right, so the colors I'm using, in case I forgot to tell you, um, Cajun Craze, just like the colored pencil, and Garden Green, again, just like the colored pencil. Hi, Lori, I'm so glad you're joining. This is our first card. I actually only have two cards prepped today. We'll see how those go, but I do have a bunch of cards to share with you for a mail call. So we might just do two demonstrations and then the mail call and call it a night. We were on a little mini vacation. You may have seen pictures that I posted on Facebook. We went up to Michigan to visit family and then we stopped in St. Joseph, Michigan and went to the beach on the way home. The kids start school tomorrow. So it's a little bit crazy at our house, a little bit busy. I'm adding some of the rustic metallic dots just to kind of like frame out that, um, oh, stay where you were. <laughs> For, that one doesn't have a glue dot on it. Okay, let's try another one. <laughs> we're going to um, frame out the, the sentiment and draw some attention. So there's our finished card. Again, I did case 
the catalog a little bit. I was kind of inspired. Oh, you guys are all fasting up now to being late. I'm so glad you're here. Whether you're late or not, you made it. Here's the catalog uh, sample that inspired me. So I kind of changed up the colors and did something different with the background. Had more of a, I would say like a darker, more natural. I don't know. We've got um, the fun. I mean, the background is natural there, but that, um, what is that? It's like, um, peach parfait pale papaya color <laughs> i think that's a little designer paper i like that little leaf embellishment too but anyway there's my version for the stylish sketches stamp set so if you have this one that you got for free during celebration and are looking for some inspiration i hope that this card inspires you um to get it out and create with it you kind of you know think outside the box and maybe instead of rectangles use hexagons <laughs> um it's also fun i did this all with one color ink pad i used the soft suede and then i colored with some of the colored pencils and used the blending pen the blender pen and then um did a little bit of ink pad on the background i really like the way that turned out well let's clean up our desk and get out our next project I feel like this is one of those things where I just have the whole table. You can't see it, but the, the whole table is covered in, um, in all kinds of stuff. And I'm just going to bring things in and out. Okay, so the next project is using some of the Ringed with Love designer paper. This is another one that you can get for free during celebration that I just really haven't used a whole lot. And I have to say... Um, like when I'm looking through my swap box, I didn't really have any samples either. Um, I did use it for one of my swap cards that I created and shared with my team. Um, this uses the bird designer paper, a little bit of the ringed, um, embossing folder, the hybrid embossing folder. And then also, um, some of these natural elements, wood elements, and then the love and warmth came from the ringed with nature stamp set. So the stamp set, let me show you the in the catalog, the stamp set and the bundle kind of coordinate with the designer paper, um, but they are not, you know, like you can use other things with the designer paper. Let's get out the catalog and take a look at this bundle. I think it's funny that there's two houses. <laughs> so this one is from Window Wishes. And then there's also one in the Ringed with Nature um, bundle. I thought that was really funny. Oh, look at that sample. I just love the coloring there. The color ink, especially the white, really pops on the Ringed with Nature bundle. Okay, I found it in the index. We're looking at page 62. I love that index in the back. Okay, so here it is in the Stampin' Up! catalog. It's not part of a suite. It's on page 62 of the July through December 2022 mini catalog. And um, we have so many of the images in the stamp set that coordinate with the paper, like the houses and the poinsettia flowers, and then some of the leaves and greenery and the little toadstool and mushrooms. Um the acorns, so these can either be mushrooms or acorns. If you turn them upside down, you can put an acorn hat on it. And then there's no bird stamps, but just kind of, it kind of all goes together. On the opposite side, we have some really beautiful medallions and some trees. And this is really fun. This imagery can be die cut with the, the hybrid folder, the tree rings hybrid folder. So I'm going to show you that tonight. Um, then you've got some other sort of lovely B-side patterns. I love this watercolor background and this one too with the yellow and the pink and then the green leaves. So this is really beautiful, something for every season. And I'm, am I missing one? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> the flowers and on the other side, the um, the plaid gingham. Um, so I am, I'm working on updating my calendar template for 2023 and I'm going to make a new calendar using this designer paper because there is something for every season. So I can feature a different pattern every month, um, and be set for the whole season. So this is really great designer paper. Again, you can get the paper for free during celebration with a qualifying order. 
um, of $50. Um, so here are some of the samples in the catalog. Just so many beautiful ways to use this paper. On this one, they have fussy cut a lot of the images from the designer paper. I love, love, love this one with the die cut tree rings and then some fussy cut or hand cut leaves and um, an acorn. So I was just looking, I feel like I'm so scattered. I was just looking at the pheasant stamp set. Um, I posted a sample from the catalog with that one uh, a couple days ago, painted pheasant. Let's take a look at that really quick on 53. Because I realized just today that the leaf in the pheasant set, I think it goes really well with that paper. Don't you think? So here's the, here's the painted pheasant. And I just thought like those leaves were kind of the same shape. So there's not any leaf stamps in the range with nature, but you've got some there. And honestly, I know you've got leaf stamps at home, right? <laughs> um, so you can, you can use anything. Well, I really had a lot of fun designing with the Rings with Love designer paper and the Rings with Nature stamps that I recently designed projects for my next free online card class. So make sure you tune in on Tuesday, August 30th at 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, and we're, we're going to do a card class where we walk through five different cards using the Ringed with Nature stamp set and the Ringed with Love designer paper. So if you would like to reserve a card kit and stamp along with me, you can do that right now at tinyurl.com slash August 2022 SOTM, which is stamp of the month. Um, so check that out. I'll put the link in the video description for you as well. Um, I'll also have a PDF. So if you prefer to just use the supplies that you have at home, the PDF will be available to purchase in my Etsy shop starting next Tuesday. So you can watch for that. Um, and I'll be getting these kits ready to go and, and um, ready to put in the mail before I leave for New Orleans next week to the backstage conference that Stampin' Up! is having. So make sure you reserve your kit right away so you can get it in plenty of time to stamp along with me on Tuesday, August 30th. This will be a YouTube live class. Um, and I really, I just really, really, really love the way these cards turned out. Would you like a little sneak peek? Of course you would. <laughs> Here's one of the cards we'll be making. This is a little double flap card. And I was inspired by um, a great big swap card from Jean Schickman. She sent this in for the great big card swap. And so I just had to give it a try myself. So I used some of the rings with Love Designer paper. I had to fussy cut that um, that little bird. And I just really love the way it turned out. So I love all the cards. I think you're going to as well. But I wanted to make a bonus card for you. And so we're going to do that right now. Tonight, we're going to create a card with Ringed with Nature. Hopefully, I'll inspire you and hopefully you'll tune in for that class on Tuesday, August 30th. Uh, but if not, I'm like, I know you guys probably have this paper. In fact, leave a comment right now. Tell me, do you already have the Ringed with Nature designer paper? And um, if so, have you used it? <laughs> Last week, we made this fun envelope flap card. Do you guys remember this one with a little gift card pocket? I really wish, and you know what? I feel like I should just do it right now. I, but after I took pictures of the card, I was like, why didn't I add leaves? There is a leaf stamp. You know, I just said there wasn't, but there it is. There's one leaf stamp right there. And I was so so disappointed in myself for not adding leaves to these poinsettias. So I'm getting out the evening evergreen <laughs> and we are going to write that right now and add some leaves. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. I'm going to have to take a new picture. <laughs> oh, it just needed something. Isn't that better? The other thing I did since, um, oh, since our Last video, I just got myself some ink on my fingers. The other thing I did after the video was I added some gold sequins there in the middle of um, the flower because the stamped um, the stamped dots that we put on there, like you just couldn't see them very well. So I added some sequins to kind of make that pop up a little more. I also put them on the inside. That just goes with the paper so much better. I really love that. I'm afraid I'm getting ink on my card. Okay, so the envelope flap card, if you haven't seen this one, make sure you check out last week's Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'll add the link in the video description for you so you can check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Well, since I used the poinsettias and I used the birds, 
I really wanted to use something different. And one of the, the patterns that I have not used at all yet is this one here with the mushrooms and the leaves, but partly because the background is just made so perfectly to be die cut. Let's see where our die is. So um, this, I, I love it when they have these hybrid embossing folders. Okay, so um, where's the embossing folder? I just feel so scattered. Embossing folder, <laughs> where did I leave you? Okay, right there on the floor. <laughs> um, so the the die on this embossing folder, this hybrid embossing folder, it fits right in there. So you can die cut and emboss at the same time. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you that the die um, also will die cut the designer paper. And I suppose if you wanted to, you can emboss the designer paper as well. So you can use that die to die cut the paper and then you have... Um, die cut rings. Anyway, I, I feel like I've been saving it to do that. And so I haven't really used the other side of the paper. But for this project, we are going to. So let me show you some measurements. And then we'll work on the pieces to put this card together. Okay, so for this card, we have two pieces of soft suede cardstock. One of them is just plain and the other one I scored, but both of the soft suede cardstock pieces um, are four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so together, this is a half a sheet of cardstock. So I cut it in half and then one of those halves I scored in half at two and three quarter inches. Okay, our next piece is that gorgeous designer paper and this one is five and a half by five and a half inches and I scored it at one and three quarters. And so we're actually going to fold that so that you can see the other side. Okay, five and a half by five and a half scored at one and three quarters. And then our last two pieces are two and a half by four inches. And both of them are the same size. One of them, I've used the embossing folder to emboss. Two and a half inches by four. I'll put the measurements in the video description for you when we're all done so you can check it out and try this card at home. This card was inspired by a swap I received from Nancy Young. She used the Wonderful World designer paper from Celebration to create this like little double flat card and I just thought it was so much fun and so I decided to make my own version. So we're going to have the designer paper be on the card base. And then the mini card is going to go in the middle with the embossed piece on the front and the other piece on the inside. You ready to do some stamping and die cutting? Let's get these pieces put together. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to die cut and emboss from a piece of four by six inch of soft suede cardstock. So let's bring up our stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm gonna lay the, the die kind of fits right in there, um, right into the groove and it's sort of like, it doesn't make a click sound, but it just sort of does lock in place and stop moving around. So that's how you know where to put that. So we're gonna put this through the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Let's bring it up. Okay, and for this one, because it is a 3D embossing folder, we're going to use the platform, which is number one, and then we're going to use our embossing folder, and on top of that, we will put plate number four, which is a specialty plate. That's the one that you're using with the 3D embossing folders. With embossing folders, we always have our, um, our fold, um, going into the machine first. So I'm going to lay this down and put the cardstock on. I want to make sure that whole die is covered and close the die. And then we're going to add that specialty plate and send it through the machine. Have you guys tried this hybrid embossing folder? We have several different hybrid embossing folders in the Stampin' Up! catalogs, both in the annual and I think there's Another one in the mini catalog, like the merriest frames, I believe it is, um, that die cut and emboss at the same time. So let's take a look. Look at these tree rings. Oh my goodness. 
the texture is just so amazing on these. You can use them as is, or you can die cut the centers. The die set does include some additional dies. Um, and so these other dies do fit um, the insides. So you can die cut and you can like flip them around and have a dark color on the inside and a lighter color in the middle. Um, so there is uh, an inside die for each of the tree rings as well as some other detailed um, imagery. And then we also have these little like um, sort of the center of the tree tree ring. We've got um, mushroom stems and then the toad school or it could be the, um, the acorn. So just like the stamp, you can have an acorn or you can use that as the, the toadstool stem. Okay, so we got that die cut. Let's put, put this aside and do a little bit of stamping. Okay, I have my stamps. I didn't clean since I was working with them earlier, so <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get ink all over myself. All right, we are going to stamp. This is the inside piece, and we're going to stamp on the inside piece and a scrap. We're going to stamp some of those mushrooms. Mushrooms, toadstools, what's the difference? I don't know. Um, this was one of the images that I did not use uh, when I designed cards for the class. And so again, I was just thinking I would try to design and use some of the imagery that I didn't use for the class so that I could really have a nice variety of cards with the designer paper. I'm adding the tops of the mushrooms slash toadstools with real red ink and they're floating just a little bit. These are kind of worse, but you know what? I have one that I cut out anyway, and <laughs> that one looks better. So we're just gonna do a little magic of TV. I'm on this piece of crumb cake. This is just a scrap. I'm going to use the crumb cake ink, which is the same color that I just used for the toadstools. And we're gonna stamp the tree rings. And then we're going to stamp the sentiment with soft suede. So for this card, we're going to do thinking of you. Oh, I just love the way that looks. Okay, thinking of you. Then um, this one, it is the largest of those tree ring dies. Die cut that. Magic of TV, it's done. Wow, she's so fast. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got our pieces and we're going to line this up with one of these. And the first time I did this, I thought that doesn't really match up. But then I noticed there's like very specific bumps right here, three on top and two on the bottom. And so I just needed to rotate that tree ring to find the spot, but it does line up just perfectly. And so all of those little tree rings have um, dies that die cut the middle and fit just perfectly. So whether you're adding a piece like I am or die cutting the middle out and using a frame, there is a die for each of the tree rings that are on the embossing folder. Oh my gosh, the texture and the dimension are just so amazing. Our card is coming together. We've got all our pieces. There's one thing I want to add, um, and that is going to be a little twine bow. I use twine all the time. I just can't help it. I feel like it goes with everything. And so on this card and for the card kit, I did use some of the linen th thread. Um, I just love the natural color. And like I said, I just feel like it kind of goes with everything. So I'm going to do a little, we'll have a little bow on our card. So let's glue things together. We've got the designer paper. And again, that was five and a half by five and a half scored at one and three quarters. And that's folded in the middle, fol folded toward the front. And I'm going to adhere it to the middle of the soft swing cardstock. Just 
just going to trim trim off the extra and then we have that little mini card that goes the opposite direction so on the front we're going to add the embossed cardstock I really was kind of trying to figure out what to do and at one point I had a piece of the designer paper on it but it just felt so busy and so I feel like this kind of had a nice texture but just didn't feel overwhelming we're going to add the tree rings and then the um, the mushrooms there on the front and to the inside we're going to do the the mushrooms for the inside oh I forgot there's a another stamp I was gonna do um, I feel like it needs some words on the inside too. So this stamp set has a get well soon. It really has a nice selection of greetings. Thinking of you, get well soon just for you. Merry Christmas, love and warmth, and happy anniversary. That's what I feel like we don't see a whole lot, right? So um, we're going to add that with some um, soft suede ink. Oh, perfect. And then um, I feel like there's a lot going on and I don't want this to just peel right off. So I'm gonna use some tear and tape to adhere the back of the mini card down. And I'm just gonna use two pieces along the edge like that. Okay, so this is going to center kind of in the middle of the designer paper, centering from top to bottom, centering from left to right. And then we're going to add this in the center. Oh, did I want to use stamp dimensionals on that? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> Is that ever a question? Of course. <laughs> I like to use stamp dimensionals on everything. So this is going to go, oh, get off the table, right here in the center of the card. And then we're going to add, I love that little pop of color with the red. It really ties in with the designer paper in the background. So we're going to add um, a stamp and dimensional on the bottom. And then the top is going to kind of overlap. And so I'm just going to do a little regular adhesive there. So let's close that up and add that to our card and then we're gonna do our little twine bow. Do you think we need some rustic dots? Do you think we need a little bit more of an embellishment on this card? I kind of hesitated because I felt like there was so much going on with the different patterns. Look at that on the inside. Oh, it makes me happy. <laughs> um, Tell me what you think about some of the rustic dots. Should we use some on um, on the front of the card a little bit to frame that out? We could do like a couple on the bottom. Where did that little package go? Rustic dots, where are you? <laughs> right under my nose. Oh, let's take a look and see. Um, oh, I'm so glad you liked this card I was really happy with the way that it turned out today I'm gonna I'm gonna just kind of put these down and you can tell me what you think hmm. maybe not the big one maybe a little one. Oh, where did it go I'm seeing hearts <laughs> oh okay but what I, I'm not liking is like the random dot up there. That kind of drives me crazy. So what I think we need to do is five, right? We need to do like two on top and then go, oh, get off of there. Okay. Why is it so hard to put dots on? <laughs> you guys struggle too, right? It's not just me. Oh, I think I like it with the dots. Here's here's my other sample. So we'll we'll do it this or that. Now that you can kind of see, 
Um, dots or no dots. You know, I think I'm undecided. I was going to say I like them, but now I see the other one and I could go either way. But I love that about your cards. When you're making your cards, you can customize however you want, right? You can add more color. You can add more layers. You can really make it your own. But I thought this was kind of a fun fold. I love that it shows off both sides of the designer paper. And I feel like you could really make this card with any of the, um, the papers in this Rings of Love designer paper set, right? So we've got the mushrooms and the leaves and the flowers and the birds and the houses. Like, I almost did use the birds because, I mean, they're just so beautiful. Wouldn't that make a pretty card? And this one too, the flowers, has a nice gingham. That is so lovely. Like you could make a whole set of cards um, using this technique, this little fold. Um, oh, I'm so glad that you like it. And it sounds like I'm looking at your comments. Many of you are liking the dots on there. Um, <laughs> in fact, I would say more of you like the dots than no dots. So I guess the dots win don't they <laughs> oh what a great card I just really love this and this designer paper is really so much fun let me show you those other cards um that I made where's the well there's this one you definitely want to tune in for this class because <laughs> it's gonna be kind of amazing this paper is amazing so um, these, these three cards that I'm showing you right now are not included in the class. They're just kind of bonus ideas. See, there's five more ideas in the Rings of Love, Rings with Nature card class. So make sure you get on there and reserve your card kit. I'll be sending out invoices either tonight or um, maybe in the morning because I'm kind of tired. <laughs> the kids start school tomorrow, the girls do. So after I get them out the door, I'll have a little bit of quiet time to get some work done, which I really need to do. Oh my gosh. Well, last week I forgot. So I'm going to finish off tonight's Facebook Live by sharing some cards that I've received over the last couple um, weeks. I think it's been a little while since I've shared. Um, so, oh, let's see. I, I got these cheap post-it notes and they are just not sticking. They keep falling off the cards, which is so... So irritating. Um, okay, first up is a card I got from Linda Lang. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And I love this little washi tape um, border. I'm trying to figure out if this is like a sticker or paper. I don't know. It's really pretty though. And it's kind of um, shiny. But I love the colors. I love the bright flowers. I just think that's so much fun. So thank you so much, Linda, for sending me that one. Some of these cards are doubles from the Great Big Card Swap. Um, oh, this one came off. Some of them are missing their posts. I think that was a double. Um, oh, see what I mean? Okay. Um, so these are doubles from the Great Big Card Swap. Last week I did, um, shared 50 Anything Goes card swaps. And so next Tuesday, in less than a week, I'll be sharing some more. Um, so make sure that you tune in for the Great Big Card Swap on Tuesday. And if you haven't already, send in your card. Um, the theme for September is autumn. So you can share autumn cards. If you're sharing cards for August and you send them tomorrow and they get here really fast, then you can do Anything Goes. But if you're not sure if you're going to make the deadline, then send in autumn cards and you'll be safe either way. Okay, so here's some doubles. Um, I am so blessed that some of you send in an extra card for me. So this one is from Cheryl McLean with the Nothing Better Than stamp set. Oh, I love that. I could use a cocktail tonight. <laughs> this one's from Joe Williams. So pretty. I love, love, love the Hello Harvest, the cute little tag, and the designer paper that she customized by sponging. So beautiful, Joe. Thank you so much for sending an extra for me. Here's another extra one. This one's from Karen 
Fletcher. Um, love this little Z fold with the True Love designer paper, the black and white. Just so pretty. Here is a double from Lynn Werner who did a really fun background um, on the cardstock. And then this is from the Wonderful World um, Celebration Bundle, the designer paper and stamp set. I thought that was so gorgeous. Let's see. She's got the, um, the instructions here. I can't remember what she did. Shimmery white cardstock, shimmer paint, and alcohol alcohol inside the sprayer okay so that like shimmer paint um, inside um, a sprayer spray bottle with alcohol and then um, daubing using sponging colors on plexiglass and spraying with the alcohol to create like you know this sort of different color background and sort of it's sort of watercolory and blended, but it's using alcohol instead. And then smushing the cardstock on that plexiglass to pick up the color pattern. Such a fun technique. I just love that. And then um, using the sponge daubers on the stamp with different shades of ink um, to get that that gorgeous color on there. Such a beautiful card, Lynn. Thank you. Oh, look at this one from Jenny Oliver. So beautiful with um, the sponging she said she came from Michelle Zindorf who is like a whiz she is so amazing um, with blending and sponging just gorgeous things with color so a little masking paper for the circle some sponging and some blending here um, to create the horizon Jenny had two different color um, options and this is the one that I chose to keep just so beautiful um, with this technique so thank you so much for sharing that Jenny so so beautiful Here's one from Wanda McIntyre, the spanner panel card that has the um, the sea, the seashell embossing folder on the front. This is one of the celebration gifts that they added for August that you can get for free um, with a celebration order. Um, you can also buy that embossing folder. And this is the texture chic um bundle from the mini catalog so we've got the shells the die cuts and then i love the little sequence here that's part of the for everything fancy sequin pack i think it's called and there are three different color options they all come in the same box so you've got some green and blue and pink just so beautiful i've been playing around a little bit with that glitter um and i just love this with the the color. So that's the texture chic. Beautiful, beautiful card. Oh, and then there was this one from Trina Hillegas. This fun fold. She had two different color variations. So you're using a um, five and a half by 12 inch piece of cardstock and then cutting out um, portions of the side panels so that they layer on top of each other. Isn't that just beautiful? I love that with the um, designer paper. This is from the flowers and fields designer paper. And then this little pocket has two tags in it. I just think this card is so much fun. Um, Trina, thank you so much for sharing that. She says she saw that on Maria's crafting corner. Definitely going to have to give this one a try sometime, I think. I just think it is so much fun. So thank you, Trina. Two more cards. This one's from Pam Hinkle. Um, she sent in a different card for the Great Big Card Swap. Just beautiful. But I am obsessed with this white on white on white with the embossing folder and the die cut um, butterflies. I just think it's so beautiful. So thank you so much for your sweet note and your sweet card, Pam. So happy that you participated in the great big card swap. Uh, lastly, there's a card and, um, I think my post-it note fell off of it. I think it's from Jennifer McLaughlin. It's from Jennifer and I am, <sighs> oh my gosh, I opened it probably two weeks ago. And so I'm, um... I'm at a loss. I hope I didn't screw that up. But I love this card. Thank you so much for the sentiment inside. Wishing me a happy 20th anniversary. In June, I celebrated 20 years as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I am getting closer and closer to my million dollar milestone. Oh my goodness gracious. I, I can't believe it. I keep trying to, you know, kind of project my, um, my dates as to when I will earn 
um, my million dollar sales achievement. And I'm thinking this fall, like October, November, maybe. So we're, we're going to start an official countdown really soon. It's a little early um, just yet, but it is getting close and we will be counting down soon. So that is super exciting. If you would like to be a part of that million dollar achievement, you can order from me in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. When you order 50 or more during celebration, which ends August 31st, you'll get to choose a free celebration gift. Maybe the Rings of Love designer paper, maybe the Scott stylish sketches stamp set. There are many other gifts to choose from, but don't wait. Make sure you get your order in by August 31st. Um, and I forgot to say, there are options when you sign up for the Ringed with Nature class. There's an option to add on the stamp set or to add on the bundle. And if you add on the bundle, you do qualify for a free celebration gift. So um, you can sign up for the card class and add on that bundle, save a little bit of money. I give you an extra discount plus get a free celebration gift. Such a great time to do that. So make sure to sign up for that. And um, that's it for me tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up or a heart on Facebook. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube if you're watching over there. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future card making videos. And share, share with a friend. Share the love. I'm so glad you guys are all here. Thank you for joining me tonight. If you asked a question in the comments and I missed it, I'll go back and check those out. Um, tonight, I um, sometimes it's hard to keep up while we're live, but I appreciate all of you for being here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time with another paper crafting video. Bye.